Aiden Elm High School. This is Mr. Aiden, and this is Primary Topics of Equilibrium, Part 1. Uh, if you're a visiting teacher or you're in my class, uh, this is copyrighted material, um, copyrighted by Robert Aiden back in 2010, and feel free to distribute it to your students, but um, it is copyrighted material, um, all original material done by me. Uh, primary topics of equilibrium, it comes down to three different things. It is the, e the equilibrium expression, it is calculating concentration given K, and then calculating K given concentration. In part one of primary topics, we're going to be taking a look at just the equilibrium expression. So what are we going to do? We're going to find out how to write the expression for the equilibrium constant K for a reaction. And I'm going to show you there's five different types of Ks that we can find, but they're all the same. They're all the same exact thing. And after watching this, you should be able to write the equilibrium constant expression. Let's take a look at this first one. It says write the expression for the equilibrium constant Kc. Now what Kc means is the constant K of concentration. This is of concentration. And so we have our reaction above, and let's take a look at what it's going to be. Our Kc is going to be equal to, and we're going to put our products up top. So our products will go in the numerator, and we have the concentration of SO2, and we're going to do it to the second power because there are two moles of SO2. And we're going to multiply it by O2, the concentration of O2, so make sure you put the brackets around it. And we're going to put that to the first power because there's only one mole. So this is very similar to the reaction mechanisms in our kinetics. Now our reactants are going to go down the bottom in the denominator. And so in brackets, we're going to put SO3, sulfur trioxide, and we're going to put to the second power because there's two moles. And that is the Kc expression for this reaction. Again, products go up top, reactants go down the bottom. The coefficients, the moles, go as exponents. We're going to be multiplying. And guys, in these, rea in these equilibrium expressions, only gases and aqueous solutions go in these equilibrium expressions. No solids, no liquids. Let's take a look at the second one we ha have here. We're going to take a look at Kp, which is the constant for pressure. So instead of doing concentration, we're going to do pressure. So what are we going to do? Instead of the brackets, we're going to put a P for pressure. And we're going to take the pressure of NO, again, squared, times the pressure of Cl2 to the first power, again, because of the moles. On the bottom, we're going to put the reactant, which is the pressure of NOCl, and guess what we're going to put it to? Squared. This is the exact same thing as a Kc. Kp is the exact same thing as a Kc, except it uses pressure, partial pressures, instead of the brackets for concentration. Let's take a look at the third kind. It says uh, we're trying to find the Ka, which is the constant for acids. And it says weak acids like HF. What do we do? What do we learn in our acid base chapter? We're going to take HF. We're going to add H2O. What do Bronsted Lowry acids do? They give away H. Plus. When he gives away H, plus, what do we end up getting is F minus plus H3O. Plus. And this reaction will set up my equilibrium expression. Ka is equal to what goes up the top, F minus, we're going to put it in brackets, times H3O plus. We put both of those in brackets. On the bottom, we put HF. Why will we not put H2O? Because H2O is a liquid and not aqueous or a gas. So we do not put liquids or solids, pure substances, in my Ka expression. The next one is going to be, we're finding the Kb expression, the Kb expression. And so, for weak bases, let's go back to my bronsted lowry equation. How do I do a weak base? NH3 plus H2O. Which one is going to give away the H plus now? The water will give away the H plus. And what do we end up getting? Our conjugate base and OH minus. You can see this is a weak base problem. And we're going to do a Kb expression. What goes up the top? NH4 plus in brackets, OH minus in brackets, that means concentration. On the bottom we put NH3. Why are we not going to put H2O? Because H2O is a liquid, a liquid. 
Let's take a look at our last K expression, and that is the KSP. What KSP means is solubility product. It's just like a precipitation reaction, but backwards. Okay? And so we're going to do our KSP expression. What goes up the top is PB plus 2. Making sure to put the charges in parentheses, that actually really matters. We're going to put I minus, and it will be to the second power because we have two moles of I minus. And this is all going to be over 1, so I'm done. Why is it over 1? Why don't I put the PBI2? Because it is a solid. We can almost even cross out the PBI2 because it is not, does not have a concentration. It doesn't go in my equilibrium expression. And so this is primary topics part one. It's really easy. Again, only gases and aqueous solutions don't go in. Do not include solids or liquids. And this is called finding the equilibrium expression. So make sure you know how to do this coming in Monday in class, and I will see you then. Have a good weekend. Bye.